hey 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 welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm going to show you a very easy recipe using some chicken breast without wasting time let's just get started so as you can see here i've got some garlic ginger sweet pepper and some onions i'll just go ahead and blend them up I've got my chicken breast over here. I'll go ahead and cut it into pieces. I'll kind of cut it into cubes. I'll put it in a bowl and pour in my blended ingredients. Come in with some soy sauce, my favorite seasoning white pepper, black pepper, curry, paprika, oregon, a tablespoon full of olive oil. I'll go ahead and mix it up very well to distribute it evenly. I'll cover it with a plastic wrap and leave it in the fridge for about an hour. It's been after an hour and it's ready to be used. I'll get my skewer sticks. I'll put about three to four pieces on one stick. It just depends on you. The longer the stick, the more meat it can take. After skewing everything, this is what we have here. I'll get my baking pan lined with my baking net. Then I'll put the skewed meat onto the net. I'll bake this in a preheated oven of about 150 degrees Celsius. This needs to cook slowly. I'll bake it for about 30 minutes. I'll bake it for about 40 minutes. So it's been after about 40 minutes and it's ready. Since I want to maintain or trap in the moisture, I'll put the meat into an aluminum foil. I'll sprinkle on some parsley for some extra flavor. I'll go ahead and wrap them up. Also sprinkle on some shredded spring onions. I'll leave this alone for about 30 to 40 minutes. It's been after 40 minutes and this is what we have here. It is ready to be eaten. This I must say is super delicious. As you can see, it was so easy to make. You need just a few ingredients and you're ready to go. So I hope you do give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends. And don't forget to give me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.